hey guys welcome to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to be talking about something that is very crucial something very important i'm going to be talking about entitlement mentality um this has been a subject matter that's been on on my mind for a long time now and i thought to myself why not make a video about it i mean we have more entitled people going up and down everywhere they're in your space yeah yeah that's at your front at your back by your side everywhere you turn they are everywhere some of you might be confused as to what i'm talking about i am going to explain and your eyes of understanding will be enlightened today so stay tuned if you're not subscribed to my channel now is the perfect time to go subscribe and also hit the notification mm. now is the right time to subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified of every new video that is posted without further ado let's jump right into this video so what does entitlement mentality simply mean it simply means the feeling of you want you, the feeling of you owe me something the feeling of this person owes me something the feeling that you are deserving of something even if you have done nothing to warrant that reward the feeling of this person owes me something so we have a lot of people going around these days you know mostly on social media even some of our friends people have this entitlement behavior they feel they are entitled to your money they feel they are entitled to your time they feel they are entitled to your space they feel because oh i know this person i can call this person at any time and it is fine this is very wrong i feel like people take advantages of these things and that is why i'm here to put a disclaimer <laughs> You are not entitled to all of these things, okay? Know the boundaries and know the space. So entitlement, behavior or mentality, simply the, um, the mentality that somebody owes you something even when you have done nothing in quotes to deserve it, right? So on today's video, I'm just going to be giving you some tips and some secrets, some advice on how to deal with entitled people because one thing I've noticed about them is that they get easily annoyed when the things they believe that you owe them is not given to them so i've met people that you know they message you and they are annoyed that you didn't i message you at this time you didn't answer my days why are you not doing this it's fine of course to demand respect from somebody that you are in a relationship with probably a friendship or in whatever relationship business relationship it's fine to demand mutual respect but know when it's getting to the extreme you can't call somebody by 2 a.m when the person is supposed to be sleeping and expect they pick your calls and probably they do not pick your calls you don't start getting annoyed are you doing a bot phone for them yes you so these things are things that we face in our daily lives and some people don't know that these are entitlement behaviors and it is very annoying so you have to stop it so i'll be giving some ways on how to deal with this um people that have entitlement behavior so i don't ruin your friendship because most of these people that have this entitlement behavior um they are they are your friends they can be your siblings they can be your business partner so how do you deal with this people without necessarily ruining the relationship for life or altering that relationship all right number one i appreciate don't nourish it don't nourish it what does it mean do not always give in don't nourish it do not water it do not water that kind of attitude so somebody comes to your house and expects that they are being treated like a queen like you give them everything that they want they want cold stone ice cream they want pizza they want shawarma that every time they come to your house they want to get that treatment as much as it's good for you to respect and treat them with respect but you don't have to always be in that um under that pressure to always want to do these things and these people are so entitled that the day they come and you don't do these things to them they get upset so one thing you can do to help them is don't nourish it right do not encourage that kind of behavior do not encourage it nip it at the board nip it like nip it just clip it just stop it clip the wings stop it when it is still early when people begin to demand for much more like they have this you owe me mentality you should do this to me you should do this for me you should do this i expect you should not nourish it a lot of people the reason why they are still in your life and they are still demanding and demanding demanding is that is because every time they place a demand you always go out of your way to fulfill that demand so number one to help out and to help them too is do not nourish that behavior second here is practice assertiveness all of being assertive mean is being bold and confident without being arrogant about it so you must understand that 
if you want to speak up to these people you must be confident because most of these people most of, most of these entitled individuals thrive on people that um they don't know their rights or they are timid so you come to somebody's place you want everything you want to sleep in your master bedroom because you are a master okay <laughs> i did that <laughs> You come to somebody's house for the first time and you're not giving permission to go to the kitchen, stay where you are. So you are giving permission. Do not I, I feel like a lot of people feel so entitled to a lot of things. Please do not do that. So be assertive, be confident, but do not but don't be arrogant, okay? Relay your thoughts, talk to them. Okay, this is what you should do, this is what I expect you to do. Please don't do this, don't do that without necessarily being um, aggressive and being arrogant so as be accepted with your claims be accepted with your advice and all of that so here is set boundaries what on my list is set boundaries for people that are entitled that they have this entitlement behavior set boundaries so if you know they are always demanding for some kinds of things that you know that it's not every time you'll be able to afford it or even if you can afford it you only be fueling their desire to keep on being entitled set boundaries so this is very relative i don't know how they apply to you so if you have a particular person that's always probably when you go out to shop is always demanding for things and expecting you to buy them because in court we are friends you have to set boundaries and let them know what and what is applicable and what should not be done uh, very quickly let's watch, watch it out call them out to respect call them out to respect there are times you need to like shun immediately like there are, there are situations where you need to sit down with that person and talk it over and there are some situations that you need to call them out like sister brother respect yourself enough is enough we can't keep on doing this do you understand call them out to respect these people because you don't want them to get to a point where they feel like the world should serve them because entitlement mentality can get very bad to the extent that you just believe that everything should be working in your favor like anybody that is not nice to you is your enemy that's entitlement behavior you go on facebook you text somebody and you're expecting them to text you back in the next one minute you are not minding if they are busy you, you don't mind if they have something else to do rather than texting you you just feel once i text you text me back you just feel i called you why did you not answer you are not even you know you don't care about what they what they are about in their own private life so you are also helping these people out by calling them out and making them understand that life is not this way and life does not revolve around you don't be entitled this is not the whole world is not do not come from inside your pocket don't be entitled okay last but not the least give them a hand up and not a hand out give them a hand up you pull them up from the pit of entitlement don't give them handouts don't give them don't give them things that will fuel their entitlement mentality. Bring them up, give them a hand up. What do I mean by a hand up? Draw them out from that pit of entitlement where they feel like everything should be done for me because I am the grandmaster of it all. It is, it is the wrong kind of attitude to have. It brings about pride, it brings about arrogance. It is not a nice behavior at all. It will not make them relate well with other people. So, if you truly are a friend to this kind of person, probably they're your classmates, they're your lodge mates, your roommates, your friends, business partners, they're your partners in, in, in love, whatever they are, whoever they are, make sure that you're not giving them handouts. Don't encourage this behavior. Don't let them feel like they are right. Sometimes you need to call them out. It might not be easy, but do so. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. The Lord grants you grace in the name of Jesus. To talk to these people to advise them and if you are one that has entitlement behavior i pray for you that the lord will grant you grace to come out of it in the name of jesus amen all right that's just about that for this video i trust you had a fantastic and amazing time learning and getting value if you like this video if you love this video and you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section please like share comment subscribe share to your friends know 
just make sure that other people are also enjoying the life that you're enjoying and do not forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of every video that is posted my name is favor Atto, and what i do on this channel is to film about life age relationship personal wellness purity good living and all of that good stuff so that's just about that for that i'll see you guys in the next video until next time i may have invited you to back and i'll see you bye bye